welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room and Happy New Year. Right now all that's growing in here are some Swiss chard starts. There's several different varieties but the thing I wanted to go over in this video is how I start my pepper seeds. So I'm going to be starting six varieties of hot pepper seeds here today on January 1st. So let's get started. Okay, some things that we'll need is a heat mat, a thermometer for the heat mat, Ziploc bags, paper towels, scissors, some seeds, and your labels. So first thing I'm going to do is get the paper towels ready. So these are the select a size paper towels and I just cut them in half. So I'm going to fold this in half and then cut it down the middle. All right, and then I'm going to fold these in half and in half again. And then we've got one more. And I'm going to be starting six varieties of seeds today, and they're all hot peppers. All right, so in a previous video, I showed how I wrap the seeds inside the paper towel, but this year I'm going to try something different that I learned about from someone on Google Plus Pepper Lovers Community, where they just put the seeds on the bottom. Oh, I forgot to mention you also need some water. I actually have distilled water in here, so I'm going to spray the paper towel a few times with the water. Maybe get the inside too. And the first seeds we're going to go with are, let's do the Black Panther. So the Black Panther is probably the hottest pepper that I'm going to be growing this year. And I got these from Mark Elmer on Facebook. I get most of my pepper seeds from seed swaps. So this is actually developed by Chili Riot and it's supposed to be 1 to 1.5 million Scovilles. It's a cross between the Pimenta de Nede, which is a black kind of a ornamental pepper, and the Bootjalokia red, aka ghost pepper. So what we're going to do is get our Ziploc bag and then put the paper towel I'm going to put three varieties in each bag, so I'm going to put this over on the left side. And let's see how many seeds we have left. So I don't have too many of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got seven of these seeds, so I'm not going to start them all. I'll probably do five. We'll start with five and see how that goes. Um, or actually, let's do, yeah, five. So I've got five seeds here. Actually, let me take this out. And we're going to spread these out on the paper towel. Like so. All right, and then we're just going to push these into the bag. And make sure we put our label in there as well, so we know what it is. I'm going to put this on the bottom side. Well, we're going to turn this over um, so the seeds will be on the bottom. Um, let's get two more varieties in here. Let's go with a uh, Boot Jalokia, aka Ghost Pepper. This is the yellow variety. And ghosts come in all sorts of different varieties or different colors, um, but we're going to go with the yellow this year. And I got these from Forrest Clinton on Instagram from a super duper seed swap. I think this was back in, I think it was about two years ago. Um, so we'll see what the germination of these are. Uh, let's see, so here we go. It says it's the world's hottest pepper. That was true a while ago, but there's a lot of new varieties out now that are that are now hotter than the ghost pepper. And we're going to start five of these as well. Okay, I'm just going to put these on the paper towel. 
and spread them out. Okay, and then we'll put these right next to the other variety. And we'll put our label in. And the reason for doing it not wrapped in the paper towel is because it's easier to see. So you don't have to open up and unwrap the paper towel every time you want to see if the seeds have germinated. All you have to do is take the paper, take the Ziploc bag up and turn it over and you can see what's going on. Okay, and the last one we're going to do in this one is the Nebru 7. So I got this from another person on Instagram. Um, named Trident Chili. And this is also a cross. It's a cross between the Seven Pot Jonah and the Trinidad Yellow Scotch Bonnet. And I've only got five seeds of these, so I'm really hoping I get some good germination on these because that's all I've got. So I'm going to go ahead and start all five of these. I have plenty of pepper seeds, so if they don't germinate, I can always grow something else. All right, forgot to wet the paper towel here, so let's do that. Okay, and we'll put our seeds on there. And we'll put that in. And get our label. I'm going to go ahead and spray a couple more sprays in the bag. And close it up. Okay, so I'm going to put these on the heat mat. Now the heat mat, I'm going to set the heat mat temperature to 80 degrees. That's what I used last year, but you can go up to, I've seen 85 is actually the ideal temperature, but 80 worked for me last year, so I'm going to stick with that. Um, we'll set that to 80. And then the, this is the sensor here for the, the heat mat. So I'm just going to put that, I'm going to clean it off a little bit. Put that inside the Ziploc bag. And I'm going to put this on the opposite side that the seeds are on. And then we'll make the seeds on the bottom. So I'm going to flip this over so I can see the labels here. And I'm going to check on this every probably, I'll probably start checking it on day three. Um, and I'll just come in and take a look at the underside to see if there's any germination. All right, and I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and I also have a blanket. I like to use a blanket on these because the wire rack is pretty cold. So having a blanket under the heat mat helps with some of the warm, um, help keep some of the heat in. So I'm going to go ahead and get these other three varieties started. I'm just doing six today. Um, the other ones I'm doing are the Lemon Starburst. This is a contest pepper for Google Plus Pepper Lovers community this year. It's um, created by Kang Star, and it's a cross between the Bohemian Goat and the MOA Scotch Bonnet. And then I've got Gator Jigsaw, which is a cross between the really super hot uh, Jigsaw Pepper and an unknown other variety. Um, but it's a, it's a green pepper. So I'm going to be using that for my green hot sauce. And this Gator Jigsaw is from Charles P. He's also in the pepper lovers community and grows a lot of a lot of varieties of peppers. I think he had over 160 plants or something that he grew last year. And then I've also got the Peach Peter Reaper is what we're calling it. This is a local um, hybrid that was created by on accident by my neighbor. It's a peach. California Reaper, and we believe it was crossed with his Peter Pepper. So it's a fun um, variety that I grew last year. So I'm going to be doing that again. It's up to an F3 now, so we'll see how that goes. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these into a Ziploc bag, and then I'll show you what's next. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cover these with the blanket here, and that'll keep them nice and warm. So we're already up to, this looks like we're up to 71 degrees. The water's pretty cold, so that probably will take a little while to get those warmed up. So we'll check back in a few days and see what we have. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll give you an update soon.